Hey, I'm Jamie at Stonemeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in Green Team Wins, which, even though it's not a game by reproduction like Just One and So Clover and uh, Fun Facts, it feels very much like that series of games. This one just happens to be from 25th Century Games, and it is a competitive game instead of a cooperative game. So this is a social game where you are essentially trying not to be clever, which is kind of an interesting mechanism. It's a, it's a nice game to play at the end of a long day of gaming or a long game night when your brain is not wanting to think all that hard. Because the key in Green Team Wins is that you a, a question is posed to the group. Um, a question, the example I, I can remember from our game is that uh, a, card says, a card says the word king and there's a blank and everyone needs to write down the word or words that they think go in that blank on a private whiteboard and they reveal that whiteboard to all players. And if the word that you reveal, word or words that you reveal, match the, uh, the majority of the people that answer the question, you join the green team. So there's the, the green team is the winning team and the green team's participants or players uh, can, can be in flux throughout the game. So if six people out of the seven wrote down the word uh, Kong and I wrote down Kong, then I would get to join the green team and gain one point. Or if I'm already on the green team, I get to gain two points. And you're trying to get the most points in this game. Uh, really, it's more of an, it feels a little bit more like an activity of just trying to get, put your brain in the other people's brains. And this is, I think the the interesting concept of this game that you a are trying not to be clever you're tr not trying to think of the unique answer you're trying to think of what everyone else is is going to say and that you have to think outside of yourself you are not necessarily writing down the answer that you think is for you and a lot of them are like multiple choice questions like uh the the, the group's favorite genre of games or or, or the, the the best genre of game um, and there's a few different options. You're not trying to choose your favorite genre of games. You're looking around at the other people at the table and trying to figure out what the most people will, will write down um, for the group. And yet, if everyone everyone's thinking that, you have to be at least a little bit biased as to what you are writing down um, because you, you know that the other people are looking at you and trying to think of what you might write down. So there's just this really interesting balance there of uh, trying to put yourself in the shoes of the other players and, uh, and try not to be clever when you write down your answer. I, I'm sorry I don't have visuals here. It's a very simple game visually. Um, I, I don't own the game, but that is my favorite mechanism in Green Team Wins, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments below. Thanks.